John Hughes, born February 18, 1950, died August 6, 2009, at age 59. He is personally one of my favorite directors of all time. His success came in the 80s with all his high school classic movies. Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller, 16 Candles. Welcome everyone, Jordan Bear down here, and I am here at the north side of Chicago. Look at the size of this house, right up there, which is a pretty cool entrance. I am approaching the cemetery that John Hughes, the director, probably my favorite director of all time, was buried. Approaching the cemetery, looks like it's closed. So I had to turn around. The cemetery that John Hughes was buried was closed. They said basically in February to April, they close at 4.30. It's currently like about to be seven o'clock. So time to go to the next destination. The deers. It's pretty cool. And I am approaching John Hughes's house before he passed away. And this is the house he lived in before he passed. It was for sale, but now somebody bought it. It's pretty cool because you can see like a lady's dress is right there. Pretty cool and creepy at the same time. But John Hughes's old house before he died. Pretty cool. What am I approaching is Jake Ryan's house. Right over there, Jake Ryan's house. This is the garage, this garage right here, where they he wanted Farmer Ted to take his girlfriend home. They pulled out of the garage, and Long Duck Dunn would have been under the tree. And that's when he would have said, oh, sexy girlfriend. I wonder if Jake Ryan's home. Jake Ryan? He doesn't even know he exists. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this short little vlog about the John Hughes house he used to live in and the Jake Ryan's house please like share and subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon thank you for watching